What is this thing? And how am I gonna use it? Hey there gorgeous, it's Sabrina here. If you've ever asked yourself that question, I am here today to dispel all of the mystery surrounding the fan brush. And I'm gonna give you six ways that you can incorporate this into your makeup routine. First way that you can use a fan brush in your makeup routine is to get rid of eyeshadow fallout. Have you ever applied eyeshadow and then ended up with a bunch of it on your face afterwards? Yeah, that really stinks. Well, just take your fan brush, lightly dust it underneath your eyes, and this will get rid of all of that nasty fallout. For those of us who are really, really fair and we like to apply blush and bronzer, but we always apply way too much. Been there, done that. For a more sheer application of color, a fan brush will give you a much softer look. Take a little bit of your blush or a little bit of your bronzer and apply it lightly onto your face. However, if you're already past the point of no return and you have way too much blush or bronzer on your face already, use your fan brush to soften it up. Use the edges of the fan brush to blend your blush or your bronzer into your skin for a less dramatic look. You can also use a fan brush to apply a light dusting of highlighter onto your cheeks, the bridge of the nose, above the eyebrows, any place where you want to have a little bit more shine, but you don't want it to be too over the top. If you have ever applied your powder with a powder puff or a powder brush and you realize that you applied way too much, happens to the best of us, use your fan brush to redistribute the powder around your face for a more even distribution of product. And the final way that you can incorporate the fan brush into your beauty routine is to apply your face masks or your peels with it. Not only will this help the face mask or the peel to go on much more smoothly, you'll get much better coverage and you won't use a ton of product during application. And you can pretend that you're at the spa. I hope you found these tips helpful today for incorporating a fan brush into your makeup and beauty routine. And if there is a use for a fan brush that I didn't list today that you currently do, I hope you will share it below. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.